and welcome back to the Minecast, the show slash series slash Minecraft Let's Play slash podcast where I talk about stuff. Yeah, I don't even know what to call this, but we're going to call it a show, I guess. Welcome back to the Minecast. Now, as you guys know, here on the Minecast, we answer questions from the Discord and kind of just talk about stuff that's going on, you know, in my life. And with you guys, if you guys have anything you guys bring up in the questions tab of my Discord. Now, do make sure you do go join the Discord if you haven't already. You guys can go ask questions. You can join the general chat. You can do whatever you want over there. Well, not whatever you want. I guess I should probably, like, there are rules. They're not heavily enforced, though, so. Yeah. Well, your boy Blazer, somebody who you guys probably know on the channel, he does the Build Battle series with me. Um, he went to the Discord, and he asked quite a few questions. Seven. He has seven questions. Um, I think we're going to be able to get through most of them. Probably all of them in this video. I don't know if we're going to get through every single one. But I'm going to take my time and I'm going to answer every question, you know, you know, correctly. Hopefully, at least. Now, but before we get into that, I do want to kind of mention something that happened just yesterday. And that is, I just got a drawing tablet. Which, if you guys don't know what a drawing tablet is... It's basically a graphics tablet where that you can draw on, and it basically, you can use it as a mouse also. I don't think most people do that. They use it to draw, you know, on like Microsoft Paint or Photoshop or whatever it is that people decide to use. So, you know, there's that, which I just recently got it. Would you guys want to see videos with that? I kind of thought about it at first, but like... The graphics tablet, I kind of have to get used to it before I definitely make a video with it. Like, as I just said, it just came in yesterday. So, definitely need, a, like, some time with the graphics tablet before I, well, start doing videos on it. I don't know what I'd do for videos on it. But, yeah, if you guys have any ideas or anything like that, you know, I'm all up for doing a video with it. Just, I don't know what I would do. I have started reading um, the Fazbear Frights books again. So that I can work on the reviews. I rewatched The Flash Season 2. And I'm almost done with watching Batwoman. So for those of you for upcoming videos. I basically just did a whole big drop on you. I have not finished Batwoman yet. Just because I've become very demotivated to watch the show after recent episodes. Uh, I wouldn't call them bad episodes per se. I wouldn't call them the best episodes the series has made though. I would definitely say they're they're not the best, but I wouldn't say they're bad. I don't want to do any spoilers because that's all coming in my review later on. All right, so let's get into some of your boy Blazer's questions. He has seven of them. Uh, I haven't read the questions beforehand, but you know, might as well. All right, Blazer says I have a couple questions for you, Manta Ray. Also, hi YouTube. Yes. Okay. Your boy Blazer says hi. Okay, his first question is, favorite Minecraft block? What is your favorite block in Minecraft? Okay, um, I don't know what my favorite block is. That's something I definitely need to think about. Okay, there's quite a few blocks in Minecraft. Minecraft might be known for its blocks, you know. Call me crazy, but that might be what Minecraft is known for. Um, I don't know what counts as a block, per se, but I'm going to say just, like, full block blocks. Yeah, that's not confusing at all. <laughs> so, I would say my favorite block... I like the blue blocks. They all look really nice, like blue concrete, blue terracotta. All those blocks look really nice. Um... Definitely a big fan of all the darker woods, like dark oak, I like spruce, um, I'd say dark oak and birch are like my favorite two trees, but that wasn't the question. Favorite block, um, my favorite block, I'm gonna go with, for my favorite block in all of Minecraft, a universal block. That can basically, that is, you know, I'd say it's like an important block. I'm going to say the shulker box. They are very important. Now, I don't know if they count as blocks. So, you know, I guess you can tell me in the comments if I did this wrong. And I can correct myself next week. 
I guess. But I'm going to say the Shulker Box because I feel like the Shulker Box is um, in a pretty essential block. Much like the chest, but better because it's like it's probably the closest we're ever gonna get to a backpack in Minecraft, sadly. Cause I still would really like to see like a backpack be added into Minecraft. I just think that'd be really cool. Like imagine like big like the backpack mod, like the main one that people used back in the day, like when they played Pixelmon and stuff. So like you can get like medium backpacks, big backpacks, small backpacks. We don't even need that. Just add backpacks to Minecraft. I don't know. Make them with like leather and a certain amount of wool, and you get a and a chest, and you get a backpack or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what the crafting recipe would be, but like, that'd just be a very handy block. It'd be like the beginner's version of the shulker box, except for you couldn't place it down. And I I'd say you probably can't do backpack inception. Like you can do shulker box inception, where you can have a shulker box and a shulker box and a shulker box in a shulker box you know like that's something that you can do in minecraft i don't know if they would allow that to be done with backpacks as well i don't know why they wouldn't but i, just, I could see people having a backpack full of backpacks which have backpacks full of you know different materials i've said backpacks a lot in like the last minute <laughs> all right let's move on to question number two uh favorite minecraft mob favorite minecraft mob okay okay so now, mob, I'm guessing he means anything in the game. Um, he didn't say monster or, like, animal. So, anything in the game. Okay, um, I really, like... I don't know, like, fundamentally, I think that there's some important mobs in the game. Like, even if you don't like them, like, the skeleton, they're important. But I really don't like the skeletons, you know? Um, I like the pandas, but they're not really important to the game's, like like structure i guess unlike other mobs like the chickens are kind of important because you know the eggs and the chickens are important because the feathers mostly the feathers for arrows and stuff like that so i understand where the chickens come in as important but like the panda they're not really important mobs in the game same with dolphins and any of the fish unless you're trying to use unless you need food really bad then i guess you could kill fish but they're not really important mobs. Now, the turtles, they're very important. They are needed to the game for you to get the turtle shell helmet. That makes sense. The bees, which are very new to the game, they're very important to the game also. And in my opinion, they're very, like, they're great. Like, I like the bees. Just, like, maybe not crazily, but I do like the bees. They're, I understand that they're important to the game, at least. You know, same with skeletons, same with creepers, and... Even zombies, in a way, are important to the game's, you know, structure, I suppose. So I have to go with a mob that is important to the structure for my favorite mob. But I don't know who that would be. My favorite... I don't know. I'd say one of my favorites would probably have to be... Like... I like wolves and cats. If you guys have seen my build battle series, then you guys know I like cats. Which, more build battles come in every Saturday. I like the cats, but I don't... They're not super important to the game. But, I'm just gonna say it. Cats are my favorite mobs in Minecraft. I think that's, like, the decision I've come to in my head. Cats are my favorite mob in Minecraft. Which is kind of weird, but... I'm gonna go with it. You know, they're nice. They're better than the wolves because they feel more alive, in my opinion. The wolves, you make them sit, you make them stand, they kill stuff. The cats, they don't kill anything. They lay on the beds, they purr, they, like, walk around, they sit. Well, you have to make them sit. But still, like, I think they're very interesting. And I like the cats. So that's my favorite mob in Minecraft. Now, number th his third question is... Tips for starting YouTube. Okay, my biggest tip for starting YouTube is to work with what you have. Like, honestly, don't think, oh, my favorite YouTuber has a $5,000 PC. $5,000? My favorite YouTuber has a, you know, this and that and that. It's like, oh, I need $10,000 to start YouTube. Not even the slightest. Like, you can start YouTube with whatever you have. You know, you can start it with your phone, and 
you know, you can do whatever. There's no limitations. That's the thing, is there's a market for everything on YouTube. Like, any type of content that you want to create, you could get inspiration on how to create. There's probably, like, blogs out there on, like, oh, create this, create that. On, But, like, my tip would be, you know, you don't need the high dollar microphone for your first video because you're barely gonna talk into it you know you'll be nervous to talk in front of the microphone you have to get used to that kind of you know talking to yourself kind of deal which it's weird at first like it's still weird for me kind of just I'm talking to myself like on stream I'm talking to myself for like an hour but I see what the other people are responding with I just don't hear them and it's so weird. It is very weird. It's... But it's something you have to get used to. And I feel like once you get used to it, it's not that weird. And then once you are growing, that's when you need to upgrade. But I don't think upgrades are needed at the beginning. It's like, oh, I hit 10 subscribers. I need a $300 microphone now. That That's not how it works, in my opinion, at least, you know. I can see some people being like, oh, but I, I have the money, so why not start with the best stuff? Like, I guess go ahead then. You know? But that's my tip. You don't need the high dollar stuff to start. Not even in the slightest. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my advice. Uh, number four, what is your favorite YouTube video you've made? Um, oh, that's a hard one. Uh, what's my favorite YouTube video I've made? You know what? I'm gonna come back on that one. We're gonna skip that question. Number five, boop. With a question mark. Boop. <laughs> Moving on. Now, number six is what did you have for breakfast? Okay, fun fact. Um, not really the biggest breakfast person. I kind of eat my breakfast... I usually eat my breakfast like one hour after I get up, and I usually do like, I don't know, like bacon or eggs or cereal, something like that. You know, those are my breakfasts, but I usually have breakfast one hour after I get up because I'm not big on the like breakfast morning person. I guess I could give you like my whole morning routine right now, okay. I wake up, okay. I get some stuff done when I first wake up. I come in here. I record until it's been like an hour. I do like an hour's worth of recording. Um, I don't do any editing yet. I go eat breakfast. You know, I do some simple exercises to make sure that, you know, I don't die from a heart attack while I'm, you know, playing Minecraft. And then I go back. I edit the video. I get it ready to upload and I play some Animal Crossing. <laughs> There's my day for you. So, yeah, I haven't had breakfast at the time of recording right now. Usually, my, my streams, usually when I stream, I don't even usually eat breakfast because I streamed. Which is kind of sad. Like, I just kind of skip breakfast anytime I stream. I don't know why I do that. Like, I don't know why I can't just eat right after I get done streaming. But, I guess, I decide not to. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about the breakfast question, I guess. So, as of right now, I haven't eaten anything. I'm probably gonna have a bowl of cereal, though, this morning. That's probably gonna be my breakfast. And his final question is, how do you stay motivated with YouTube? I don't know. If anybody knows, please tell me. <laughs> like, for real. Um, I guess some tips on motivation is don't get discouraged when you don't see the numbers going up. I guess that's a big one. Like, yeah, the numbers aren't going to always be rising. Trust me. The numbers aren't going to be going up the whole entire time you're doing this. You'll have times where you're not gaining subs. You'll have times where you might even lose a couple subs. You know, stuff will happen to where, like, you can't upload for a week and people will unsubscribe. Or stuff will happen where you have the best upload week ever and you gain, like, 10 subscribers or 20 subscribers. But, like, don't get discouraged by it. You know, like, don't... Don't let that be the thing that stops you. Uh, only stop if you don't want to do it. You know? When I stopped eh, a few months ago, if you guys do not know, I, you know, I decided that I was going to quit. I had, like, 
uh, I don't know, 50 subs at the time. The numbers weren't going up at all. And the numbers were going down most of the time. I was losing subscribers. People were unsubscribing. My videos were not doing well. Videos were getting, like, no views. The videos were not getting any likes. You know, sometimes I'd get more dislikes than likes. And, you know, that... I let that discourage me. That was just a rough patch in the channel. We're sitting at 204 subs right now. That was just a rough patch that the channel went through. Obviously, the channel's doing better now. You know? The channel's doing better than that now. It's doing better than ever right now. You know? So, obviously... Don't let that discourage you, because, you you know, if you let that discourage you and you quit then, who knows, you might be missing out on, like, the best month of your channel's history. That's all I really have to say about that, is, like, if you quit, then you're missing out. You have already lost, because you decided that you didn't want to do it anymore. So, basically, you might have just missed out on the best month your channel had ever seen. You know? Um, that's basically all I have to say for staying motivated, is just, don't let stuff, don't let the small stuff discourage you. You know, I think the only time you should quit doing videos is if you realize this isn't what you want to do anymore. This isn't a passion of yours. I feel like your subscribers are owed a reason to why you're quitting. I feel like when you, if you are going to quit... Don't just go into the darkness. Don't just like, okay, bye, I'm done. You know, people deserve to know. And that's just my opinion. I understand that, like, subscribers, they aren't owed anything. They aren't owed to know when, uh, like, you're doing stuff. They aren't owed an explanation to why there was no video that day. But I feel like, in a way, they kind of are. Because, like, they subscribed. They made your dream, so to say, you know, possible. You know? So, my dream on YouTube right now is the silver play button. Just because I think it looks cool. That is my dream on YouTube. And thanks to, you know, everyone, we're maybe, like, on the way. <laughs> we're not even 1% there. We're not even 1%. I don't think. So, you know, because we'll be at 1% when we hit 1,000 subscribers. Which, I think, in the next two years, we can get to 1% of the way there. You know, but that is my dream. The silver play button. So, I don't want to just give up. You know? I, I'm going to do YouTube until I get that silver play button. I feel like that... That's not a promise. I almost said that's a promise. But I feel like I'm going to be doing YouTube until I get that silver play button. At least. You know? That's all I really have to say about that. That's really all I have to say about staying motivated is set a goal for yourself. I've set a goal for myself. It's a very unrealistic goal. Yes. But it's something that I'm going to work at. And, you know, maybe one day in the next, you know, six, seven years, maybe we'll look back at this video and be like, hey, six, seven years ago, I didn't even think I could do it. Six, seven years ago, I wasn't even 1% of the way there. Here we are seven years later with 100,000 subscribers. I have a silver play button. And then that'd just be, you know, dream come true. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Minecast. Um, it's kind of a short one. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, though. Uh, I'll probably answer that what's my favorite video you've made question in the next episode, which will be next week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next Minecast. Goodbye now!